Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm the Weep Hunter and today we're playing um Monster Hunter World. From last we left off, we hunted down both the Rathian and the Diablos. Now we're about to try to capture Zor Magmaros. While I've been off the scam well, off the videos, I've been um Leveling up my character a little bit, getting a little bit more weapons, as you can tell. I want to make sure I can upgrade anything else again. Nope. Oh well. So I'm gonna check my items, see if I need to do anything, then I'm gonna head out. Nah, I'm good. And since this is all Magmas, which is a fire dragon, I'm gonna be using the, um, uh, Geratotus Longsword. And as usual, a daily cooking video with the Chef Palico. <laughs> so, how's, how's everyone doing tonight? Okay, let's get the show on the show on the road. Here we go, the a colossal task. Ends a high rank level six quest. Nah, I don't need one. Mm -hmm. I got really high defense for a fire, so all the um, magma core are gonna be that much of a challenge anymore, like last time. Alright. Let's go over the operation. The subterranean channel Zora Magdaros is using continue deep underground. We'll have one shot to divert it here when it surfaces. If we let it slip by, it's out of our reach forever. That's why I'm breaking out the big guns. The Dragonator. One of the most iconic weapons in all of Masa Hunter. This is the Dragonator. We'll use it to drive Zora back and divert it out into the open sea. <coughs> the target will be coming at us full tilt. So your job is to wear it down and try to keep it in check. Be relentless. Can we clear here? Very good, right. yes, sir. One more thing. Nergigante is bound to show up to try to make a mess of this. If it gets in our way, it's up to you to stop it. This whole operation rides on how well you do that. We can do this. Scout ahead. <clears throat> Signal us if you spot any trouble. Still one of the coolest dudes in the game. It's coming. Move out! Yes, Use everything at your disposal. I want eyes everywhere. Fight hard and stay smart. Hunters, we need to weaken Zora Magdaros enough to capture it. Once you're on its back, give all you got. 
Destroy the cores to weaken it. Or try dropping some of those stalactites on it. To be honest. Bring the stalactites with gunpowder. Use your slinger to blast them loose. To be honest. To be honest, I think a lot of people agree with me. The Zoa Magmas fights Proceed with caution. are less than enjoyable. It, it's just more tedious than anything else. Okay, we're on Zora's shell. Destroy the magma cores to weaken Zora Magdros. The success of the whole operation comes down to how much we manage to weaken the target. Magma core located. And the magma cores are just annoying to do. Like, I don't see the point of doing this. I just never like the whole Zora Magmas fight. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a cool monster. He's a cool concept. But if you go back to like older games, those monsters bigger or almost as big as Zoro and had a better fight sequence. I f like ones that's funner. I mean, I get what they're trying to do, because I don't think there was any monsters in the whole series they get right on like this, but I think they could have done a little bit better. And the shoe kind of start you off beside the um, chest as usual. I'm just being a little too needy. But um, that's actually a good question. Comment down below what's y'all's favorite monster? Like Elder Dragon or any kind of monsters you had to fight. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. Okay. And tremors. I think Zoramandros is charging up power. Keep hitting it until it relents. And I don't get about that spot. It's just like a weird placement where you can attack. Really? Watch yourself. Really? Excellent. Now it's time to restrain it. Hunters, hold your positions. Are the binders ready? Good to go, old man.
All right, let's try to get back on top now without being knocked off either by Zor or some magma slugs. Okay. Ooh, 500. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's get this done. All right, finders ready. Let's heal up before we end up dying. Now, fire. Target restrained. Zora Macros has stopped moving. All right. I'm gonna destroy this one before I go fight Nergi. But yeah, just like another Gonkite is an awesome Elder Dragon, much smaller than Zora, but still is like a really fun fight. I mean, I know I'm complaining a lot, but I know a lot of people kind of feels the same way. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to him. Let's get this fight done with. The magma stuff is really annoying. I can before I end up dying. Zora Madros is getting back on all fours. It's continuing its advance. I guess I actually did destroy it. Honestly, I didn't figure out I did. I would. I guess it was just a waiting game.
This is so boring and so long. You know what I forgot to do? Change my bracers to the um the Kula Yaku. Here we go. Over here. Hold nothing back. Because um, the Kuliyaku br bracers makes it where I can run faster while carrying stuff. Oh well, at least this one isn't too far away from each other. But the cool thing is, I mean, the CPUs will, I mean, the NPCs will make, uh, will fill up the cannons too, which is pretty good. Okay, do I need to push this back? No, I should be good. Bears defense popped up. Give it everything you got. Okay, one shot binders, cool. Let's see that gives me a little time. Like I said, a little. I don't know why, but every time Magnum was fight, we have these little annoying things too. <laughs> All right. Oh. Why did the music go down a little bit? That was weird. Okay. Hit it in the face. Okay. Yep, wasn't even going to follow that one. Move. Can I hit it? Nope. <clears throat> There's the same way that when he attacks, you can actually hit damage him with your sword. 
But I forgot how. <laughs> Maybe if it gets weaker and leans his head down. I can't remember. Got the binders. Let's get this done with. Still nothing right now. Come on, let's get this done. I didn't use that once. Handsome. It's over. Yes. It only took four years. Yeah. Grandfather? So, ready to go home? Yes! <laughs> and there we have it, people. The finals or Magma's fight. Honestly, it's not that overwhelming. I mean, all the time I actually almost died is when I was fighting Nuggy and it kept, I kept getting hit by the Magma stuff. I can talk to the Aragasi. Fiverr, I have good news. Listen to this. In the course of the, of the last operation, the Commission gained possession of a Maya good ship. With her and 40 years' experience with the local waves and weather, the sea shall no longer thwart our efforts.
Therefore, I decided to, it's best to maintain a regular route between her and the old world. Our, the goal, of course, being to improve our supply and provisions and how often we get them. There's nothing to it. Me and my new beauty set sail. Our friends back home load her up with goods and come back easy, right? So I have a tasty proposition for you. If it's all well with you, I can share some of the, my cargo with you. Here's what I managed to get on my hands on this time. Come in here and have a gander. But take a good whiff before you go. This one place will still smell like home. Oh, sweet. Just like kind of other, other monster hunters, I can set this guy out. And after a few quests, it'll come back and I can get pretty good goods from him. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of them, and I'm gonna change up the request from anything to um, some material stuff and um, trading goods. And let's talk to the old man. What's wrong? Tired of, of resting? I've been putting together a final report on the Elder Crossing. There's so many damn pages, I feel like my arms will fall off. <laughs> anyway, you will have to bear with me while I prepare it for submission. Might take some time. Once I'm done, we can talk about the future of the commission. We might end up disbanding and returning home to the old world. We shall see. But you see how... But if you have any unfinished business here, I suggest you take care of it. You know, well, anyone else that has the um, nope, no exclamation marks around here. <laughs> Except at the armory, I want to see if, the, if I can make any long sword out of the Zor Magmars or maybe some new armor. But first, I'm going to talk to the armory. It's so quiet now. You never know we had any trouble. But it's time like these that we have to be especially vigilant. You know what they say about the calm before the storm. I bet you stuck well, better safe than sorry, right? Then that's why you should take a look at my new products and prepare yourself or anything. So take care and have a look. Mm -hmm. Nope. Looks like all the same stuff before. I don't see any difference. Let's look at the smithy. First, I'm going to take a look at the armor. Oh, here's the Jarrett. The homework tower. And no Zoa Magma, so it looks like. What about any weapons? Not the great sword. Um. Nope. I got some new charms, but that's pretty much it. And it doesn't even take Zoe Magma stuff. Well, let's talk to the handler and see what she wants. <laughs> ah, this is the life. No more pressing invest investigation. No more monstrous menaces. I could get used to this peace and quiet. Although there's one thing weighing on me. Did you hear about the member of the four who got injured while out investigating some suspicious tracks? There was also a Pookie Pookie sighting in the wild spiral waste. That's not a natural habitat. What do you make of it? Hey, Maybe it's time we came out in semi-retirement and went on an expedition. Gotta stay sharp. Or stay in shape. The tracks were in the wild spiral waste. What do you say? Want to have a look? I don't care. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can deliver any bounties or anything. 
I've been trying to upgrade um, the canteen, make it where we can um, actually get more food. Hello, Fiber. Nope. For time's sake, I'm going to do an optional quest before I actually go further into the story. I know I said I was going to do one assignment then, like one or two optional quests, but since a lot of the stories have been taking a long time, I think I was been doing optional quests off to the side. So here and there in some different videos, I might do an assignment, then an optional quest, depends how long the assignment takes me. Well, I might do just like two assignments, depends how long it takes. Actually, what is it? Wickedness. Nope. Fire, blast, and stun. And I got a stun weapon. Anything else I can get, take with me? Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's eat, then head out. Alright, let's go on a hunt. Alright, let's get her done. It's really nice that they gave you tools, traps, and trank bombs when it sends you out on these hunts. Okay, bro, shall we find this monster at? Right? And does different food footprints and I don't think it's the um to teach you oh it's the uh, Tichiyaku I'm just going home the flasher because I mean that's pretty much what he does all the time Hopefully you actually come in handy you want to fight the p Palamu since it loves to um, puff up its neck and just fly around or float making it more difficult than it needs to be to attack it. Speaking of the Palamu, here we go. Live up my experience a little bit of my um, investigation with them. So far, so good. Here we go. Luckily enough, I came prepared. Haha. -ha. I 
and of course it's running around. How? Haha. <laughs> really now. Of course it stuns me too. When does the whole charge thing it gets annoying? Oh, that should make contact. But I guess it's going. Oh, is it going where I, th I was originally at, or? Oh, nope, it's going uphill. And I gotta remember, I can't kill it, I gotta capture it. Or I end up losing. Or well, not losing, but failing the uh, hunt. Still think it's one of the most annoying monsters. Let's see, knocked it down. Look, I broke one of its wings. Yeah, I deserve that since I run into it. Another wing broken.
Come on, come on. Sharpen faster. Looks like he's going back to Stuart's nest. Whoa, over here. Nope, back to his nest. Because sometimes, even if it's almost dead, or we're on to where I jumped off at. I forget who gave me this uh, assignment. I hope it's the um, chef. Whoa, With that, y'all. That's it for the hunt. Well, that's what was, that was a decent hunt, I guess. I got a lot of stuff from that. So close to loving up to Palico. Well, that would do it for the video. Thank you for coming. Like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see y'all in the next time. Have a good one.